Greetings, citizens of YouTube. I am Rob Chapman of Chapman Guitars. As you are probably aware, Chapman Guitars like to do things a little differently. We collaboratively design our guitars with you, the awesome YouTube community. Now, it's a ton of fun working on designs this way, and it means that we know that our end product is something that the customer will want. Recently, we launched a Chapman Bass project, which I am really excited about. And once again, we're approaching the design process a little differently. In fact, I think it may have confused a few people. So I've made this quick video just to clarify the situation and explain why I've chosen this approach. I guess the first thing is I'm not a bassist. I mean, I can slap out some low end love, uh, you know, tickle a few riffs, but I'm not Billy Sheehan. So in my infinite wisdom, I decided to put together a Chapman bass team comprising of Dave Hollingworth, the amazing bassist from the Rob Chapman band, and the multi-talented Ross Rucker. I call this funky unit Team Dread. Now Dave, as you will probably know, is an incredibly accomplished bassist. Uh, I mean, he's played on multiple sessions, tours, projects. He really is solid gold. Um, the guy is perfectly skilled for this job, and as such, he'll be taking care of the technical aspects as the Chapman Bass Project's technical coordinator. Ross is an action-packed, very enthusiastic young bassist and, again, a multi-instrumentalist. And I felt that Ross was the perfect guy to act as a presenter throughout the Chapman Bass projects. So therefore, he is the project coordinator. You'll see more of Ross in forthcoming Chapman Bass videos. Now, I realise that a huge number of my subscribers are generally guitarists of the six, seven or eight or nine string Wiggly variety. And the one thing that I really wanted to avoid was a mass army of 30,000 amazing guitar players voting on the spec of a bass that they potentially wouldn't want to buy uh, or play. It just didn't seem fair on the bassists who've been asking me to launch a bass since the inception of Chapman Guitars. So rather than kicking off the votes as normal, I decided to find just 100 bassists who will be willing to pledge 50 English pounds towards a Chapman bass. Now, I want to be really clear here, Pledge does not mean give us £50 now. We're just asking those interested to put forward their names and contact details with the knowledge that they're going to need a £50 deposit once the votes are all in and we've got the green light ready for production. It's really important that we have 100 bassists willing to work with us on the final spec of the MB1. And once the 100 have cast their votes on the various design aspects, they then get the opportunity to pay their £50 deposit and reserve the first ever channel base. Of course, if you are one of the 100 and you're involved in the voting and the end result is something that you just don't like, you walk away. You don't pay a single penny. Nobody is buying anything without looking at it. Now, any pre-order slots will be made available to the public, but the 100 guys who helped us with the designs and the spec, they get first dibs on reserving an MB1. So to put this really simply, I'm saying, do you want to help Chapman Guitars design a bass guitar? If the answer is yes, would you be prepared to pledge a £50 deposit towards an MB1? If yes, please join my 100 bassist. The awe will be summed, and together, you and your 100 kin will help Chapman to design the first ever Chapman bass. We already have 20 names on our list here. Are you one of the remaining 80? I've been Rob Chapman, take it easy, chap is out.